What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have a Gemini Jets slash Hogan Wings um, 1-200 scale review. I wanted to go over these six aircrafts that I currently own. This is my 1-200 collection. I'm a bit sad but I am working on it and getting it bigger. Um, it does consist of the Southwest 737 MAX 8, Alaska E-175, Alaska A320, Southwest 737-700 in the New Mexico 1, and then the Southwest 737-700 Desert Gold, and then the Southwest 737-700 MBA Livery. So this is my collection and we'll dive straight into it. This is by far my favorite 1200 scale model. Um, I really do love the wing tips right there, um, the way they just look and it's just great. Um, there's also a ton of detail on this model. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a beacon light right here, a Wi-Fi box right there, a few antennas and some on the bottom. And the amount of detail of the paint is also very astonishing. And something a lot of people don't know is the engines actually do move. Um, if you actually blow into it, they actually spin, which is really cool. Um, obviously, the emergency exits look super realistic. And the heart um, at the front door is also very realistic. And the landing gear does roll. Um, I try not to because it is a die cast model and I'm not trying to break this aircraft. But I do really like the detail on this particular one as well as the southwest.com on the engine. Moving on to our second aircraft, we have the Alaska Embraer E-175. This does have the enhanced winglets as you can see, which is astonishing. The detail with this aircraft and then being able to get the um, enhanced wingless to look exactly like the real thing is actually amazing. Um, so right there we got the cockpit. You can even, um, I'll tilt it this way a little bit. It is very hard to see, but you can see the windshield wipers right there. And then moving the aircraft back, you can see Alaska Airlines Sky West. Once again, this landing gear also does roll, but I try not to do it because I do not want to break the aircraft. Um, it also does have a beacon light up here, um, bright red, with one, two, three antennas. Um, we even have some detail on the engine that I will zoom into. Um, yes, you can see the amount of detail that Gemini Jets puts on their 1-200 scale models. Um, you can see the engine cowling right there. Actually, I think that's the, I don't know. I don't know my engines very well, but um, all the detail on the engine is actually great. And of course you can see the beacon light and antenna up there. Um, now I want to focus on the winglets. Here is the winglet on the Alaska E-175. You can see how it is slanted out at a 45 degree angle with the dark blue, and then the slightly less darker blue above it, and then you have the um, green at the top. What really adds to the detail, as you can sort of see, is the wing here, the flaps, as well as the um, all the detail on the wing, really. You can even see the red dots and stuff. So this is a fantastic model. Moving on to model number three, we have the Alaska Airbus A320-200. Um, also detailed as all the other ones with our antennas up here, beacon light, um, Wi-Fi box. Whoops, it is very tail heavy. Um, and then we have more antennas back here. I will focus on the winglets really quick. This is your typical fence winglet as I do call it um, with the white at the top and then the dark blue and then teal and then green um, once again you can see the detail on the wing here a little bit I will focus on it um, you can actually see where the flaps would come out and um, the speed brakes and the detail is just great I always like to say that NG models is the version of Gemini 200 
but in one for honor scale because Gemini 200 is very detailed. Moving on to our fourth aircraft, we have the Southwest 737-700 NBA-1 livery. Um, this used to be my all-time favorite um, aircraft. I wanted to get it in 1-400 and I couldn't unfortunately because they all sold out very fast. Um, but this was my favorite model. I loved the huge basketball on it that said NBA and then NBA-1. This did originally have landing gear on it, but it was missing some of them, so I decided to take them all off to make it look like it's actually flying, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, your winglets are pretty basic, just like they're supposed to be, with that all gray, you can see. Um, obviously, this is plastic because this is made by Hogan models or Hogan wings, um, so it is unfortunate I don't have this in the Gemini Jets version, but this is a great model and it is also pretty detailed. Um, there is no antennas on top or anything. There is one beacon light. Obviously the paint looks great, but you're not gonna get a whole lot of detail for 40 bucks. However, it does have flap detail. You can see the um, blue flaps right there and you can actually see the imprint of where the flaps would be. Moving on to our fifth aircraft is the Southwest 737-700. Um, actually, this is a Southwest 737-300, so this is a very old model. This was the second airplane I ever received um, from my grandpa, and actually all three of these I got from my grandpa. That's how I got into aviation, really. Um, but once again, this is the Southwest 737-300 in the Desert Gold livery. Um, it is not as detailed as Gemini Jets, obviously. This one has zero beacon lights or antennas, but this is more about the remembering the old times and um, what Southwest used to look like. Of course, you have the red belly and the kind of gold on the top. Same with the engines, you have the gold on the top, the red at the bottom. Um, there is a little bit of flap detail that we will get to. But um, moving towards the back, you have that typical tail that you used to see at the airport. Well, if you're older, then yeah. So the desert gold Southwest with the orange and red instead of the blue now. Um, so yeah, this was an awesome model. It is a little hard to see, but there certainly is flap detail on here. Um, you can see where the flaps actually would come out right there, um, but it's nothing too special. I did particularly save this one for last as this is my favorite aircraft. This is the Southwest 737-700 um, New Mexico 1 livery. This was the first aircraft I had ever received in my collecting career, which is why it's the most important one. Um, this, just like NBA 1, it doesn't have a whole lot of detail. Um, this came out before NBA 1 because as you can see, it is still in the Desert Gold livery, which now it's in the Triple Crown 1 livery, or that Triple Crown 1 tail that's on all special liveries. Um, this does have landing gear that does roll. Um, you can see right there, there's the landing gear that does roll. And then of course you have the New Mexico flag right there. This was a fantastic first model and I'm so happy I received it because it got me into collecting. That does conclude the six um, aircrafts I do have, but does not conclude the video quite yet. I did want to go over some news. I will be traveling to Aspen um, for vacation and also I have a school camp thing that goes on for a week. So I'm going to do my best to post, but there's no promises really because I'm not going to be in town for a week. And then the following week I also won't be because I'll be in Aspen. I'm going to try to fly home from Aspen. Um, I'm driving there with my family, but then maybe I'll fly home or something just so I could get some trip report footage. And of course, who doesn't like flying? Um, so I'll do my best and update you guys on that. And if I do fly, it'll most likely be on the new livery. United CRJ 700 so that'd be super cool to see and fun to make a trip report of so that basically concludes this video if you guys did enjoy please leave a like and consider subscribing as I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year so thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are from 
and thank you for watching. Goodbye.